Welcome back to another episode of Diecast Resurrections 3D Man Corner. I am your host Andy and today we're going to be designing, printing and showing off a complete set of modular display racking for 164 diecast models. I think I got a pretty good idea of something that will work so let's hit the old Tinkercad. But before we do that, I'd like to thank Kenneth for donating this little piece of nostalgia. This is the exact car I had when I first turned 16. Incidentally, it was also the first car I destroyed. The amazing 86 Chevrolet Caprice. Although, up in Canada, it was known as the Pontiac Parisian. Or is it Parisian? I'm pretty sure it's Parisian. Here's where I hit my first car. And then I did some real damage to her. These are the sweet spoked hubcaps that flew off. This is the exhaust that fell off. And these are the rear springs I cracked. And the front shocks I blew up. I can only get a half a turn out of the wheels after that. Man, you had to appreciate the trunk sizes of these cars back in the day. We somehow stacked four or five people in there with beer one night, and those were some times. Anywho, back to the storage racking. Alright, we'll first start off with uh, some rough sizing. So we got the Impala, which is one of the longer versions of the Hot Wheel, and we got the Van, which is one of the taller versions. And in order to get our sizing just right, I decided to create the world's first Van Pala. Alright, we'll start with the base that'll fit our Van Pala. And what I want to do is make a indent so uh, the Hot Wheel won't actually roll out of this. All right, and for stackable supports, I'm going to go with a rounded design. And then we're just going to uh, cut that flush. And it's just going to be a simple uh, peg system, so I'm going to make a quick peg here and then do the opposite and put a hole in the bottom and then we can just keep stacking and keep stacking. And once that's all done, we'll just uh, copy this three times. Alright, and we'll just copy this and test it out. And beautiful. All right, what I want to do is have a bunch of different modular uh, design things here. So we're going to start with the one that will fit everything. So it's a little bit taller. And then I'm also going to create shorter ones that will fit just the Impala. Then we can just stack them however we want. Also, we're going to be putting backing in and complete surrounds and just having all sorts of different options. So let's just put a uh, square on the back of this and then some on the sides perfect so yeah that's the basic design we're going to be going for for everything and uh like i said different uh, sizes after i was done did some uh quick looking again and i decided to go with a less steeper angle for the indent that's going to hold the vehicle in from falling out so let's just create that real quick ah oh, yeah that's 100 percent better and i think it's going to print nicely I'm not going to be showing the modeling procedure for like every single different model because it's the exact same thing over and over again. Alright, let's head over to the printer for some time lapse footage. I'm not going to do every single one, but uh, just a few of the more important ones. Here are the two different optional supports, the set of open racks, everything uh, fits together nicely, a couple enclosed racks, that looks pretty good. Now for the single top rack is a bit thicker so I hauled it out a bit just to lower the printing time. Even as signals, they look pretty good. Hope you all enjoyed the video, I think everything turned out exactly how I wanted it to. A complete set of modular display racking. You can also print PLA in all sorts of different colors as well for even more variety. The STL files for everything shown today will be on the official Diecast Resurrection Thingiverse page, 
under diecast r 3 d Anyone who wants to print the items from the channel and more, feel free to check it out. The link is in the description below. If the files are not up today, they'll definitely be up tomorrow. Make sure to keep checking back to see the new additions. The next car video is on Monday, so stay tuned to the channel for more and have a great weekend, everyone.